Uh, my co-host today is JB. He goes by JB Music 661 on just about anything. Guys, thank you so much for, uh, for spending some time with us. If you could, please properly each introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything and everything. Oh, shoot. Sorry, my bad. Uh, hi, my name is Jesse. Um, in the Colleen, Texas area. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do in the What band? do I do? I sing. I am the lead singer. <laughs> Be front man. I have the shirt on. Nobody else did, but it's cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I'm Shane. I play rhythm guitar, and I do backup vocals for this one over here. Uh, so, from the Austin, Texas area. And I'm Ryan uh, Flores. I'm lead guitar, so all of the fantastic solos and leads <laughs> is by yours, truly. Um and yeah, That's some cool. backup vocals in the future, though. Hey. <laughs> cool. But we're everywhere, all over social media, all every streaming service you can find us. You know, got our own website and everything. So. Hey. <laughs> Agent Nova, check us out. Yeah. So my, my, <laughs> first, my first question for you guys is I noticed that you've been a band for 10 years, and it seemed like you just recently kind of came back together and, and gave us Infection, the single. What brought the band back together after so long? You want to explain it? So honestly, um, I lived in North Carolina for a while while we were on hi hiatus, you know, states away. It was hard to, to keep, you know, making music together and stuff. Um, when I moved back, you know, I was like, hey, uh, our lead guitarist at the time, uh, his name is Braxton. He was moving and, you know, we were they were having a going away party for him. And I was like, hey, what if we, for old time's sake, just get back together and just play at his going away party and just call it a day? And uh, so we, we played at his going away party and we were so well received. We all just kind of looked at each other and we're like, you know, it'll be a waste if we don't <laughs> try to pick this back up again, you know? So that Rex kinda... really encouraged that too. He was like, y'all should not stop playing, not hey, stop singing, y'all keep going. Let me say something funny. <laughs> I did not know them, but I was in the same room as them when they played. <laughs> I did not know them at all. Nope. And then it was it was kind of ironic that i joined or so you I, saw them you saw them play their set and you were like dudes let me add a little yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i was in another band at the time uh but then when i saw the audition uh for the lead part um i was like oh yeah this band seems interesting but when i showed up and met them i was like i saw, saw y'all <laughs> i was there at that night and i was like i can't believe that we were all in the same room together and now we're all we in the same room we together again band, you know, so. <laughs> That is amazing. Hell yeah. Uh, JB, what's your first question for the band? So as, as as being a band, it is a lot of fun. It also gets a lot of, you know, difficult because it, you're dealing with other people. You guys make, you know, uh, clash in some ways. Do you guys find yourself uh, easy to work with each other? Or do you guys find yourself kind of like butting heads, but, you know, making it up after a while? Um. <laughs> We, we work together really good. It's like if we're working on a song or a new song, um, then we brainstorm ideas. We send it to one another. We check it out, and then we give our thoughts. We we really have this thing of uh, here's the table for your thoughts and opinions, and every single one listens to it, and you have your own. It's not like, oh, I'm going to say something. Oh, no, we don't agree with that. It's no disagreements in the band. I mean, here and there, yes, but – Overall, we're pretty thing. good to work with, and when when we're in a room together, we're very inspired by one another, um, and we just we just get our our work done because we share that all of the same passion, you know. Pretty much. Uh, for other bands, it could be like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like a it's like a relationship or people in general. Like nobody's perfect. We're we're, we're band. All human. <laughs> we go we go through things together, but you know we're all here together. You now, know, and it's, to be fair, we do have our disagreements, yes. and when we but do, but they're not like we don't major, blow up at each not, other, not man. Major. Like, yeah. like there's no we fighting. Have adult conversations about it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like we're not gonna be like, no, that's messed no, up. That's no. Messed up. no. <laughs> 
Or Obviously, we challenge each other in laser tag. And call <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, if we're having problems in the band, Pretty we much. either uh, bring out all the board games and like, hey, we're gonna settle this in Monopoly or we something. Want to settle that is we, awesome. We, that we, is yeah, awesome. We handle it very maturely and <laughs> in a fun way, you know. And, uh, That's it, damn it! I'm throwing game. down Monopoly against you right now. Not, you just yes. halt. Yeah. Practice is halting. We're gonna duel it out yeah. real quick. <laughs> that is yeah. that is cool. You guys have a really unique band name. What went into the thought process of it, and what exactly does it mean? So <laughs> interesting that you say that. Um, when we started ten years ago, we were ha we were struggling coming up with a band name. You know, you want to come up with a name that you know not. 13 other bands have um and so we went through a ton of different names um all of which we did not like <laughs> and <laughs> and the ones that we liked were already taken you know and uh, at the time i was fostering some puppies and i kept one of them and one of them's names agent jesse nova uh and our at the time he was our, our bassist he looks at my dog yells at him agent nova why can't you name our band and uh that's that's kind of how our band he literally name named form. It. <laughs> that's cool that's such a cool backstory for that what were some of the names that were terrible that you were considering oh, I say them to me. <laughs> eternal sleep no. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, oh, the other one uh was uh the opening act oh, uh like that and then there was a couple that were in spanish or French. Uh, or, or French. We had one French at uh, Jamais Vu. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jamais Vu. Because our basis at the time was like, you know, it's the opposite of Deja Vu. No, stop. <laughs> what? So, what? Was, yeah, <laughs> trust me. It, it's kind of no. hard coming up with the band name, too. It is. It, it is that tough. Came out, that, was, that, had, that was the one. It stuck. It was nah, I like it. It's, it's unique. It's different. And, and there's only one asian nova so it's it works people, people do get mixed up like i had some buddies that are like oh uh, how's your band aganova doing i said asian nova you know it people will get it people on it's if, if anybody's watching on here uh everybody will know how to pronounce it asian nova there you go <laughs> did you guys bring hot sauce hi oh uh, okay here's the thing uh <laughs> I he met I met own. I met Stevo uh, last year and he he uh, told me to try his hot sauce so I have it right here. Yeah, he's right. got. How many Scovilles is it? What's that? How many Scovilles is it? Does it say? Oh no! <laughs> it does it not does say. Not. Does it have the ingredients no. on the back? Uh, habanero, a bunch of words I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not even gonna okay, try okay. to pronounce. I got it. I got it. Seven hundred. Oh. Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. Okay, that's that's fairly that's fairly hot. Okay. Because <laughs> I have a bunch right here, and I want to do something like equivalent. So the equivalents of that that's would probably be something like this, which I'm almost done with the Death Valley Ghost Pepper. To do the trivia though, um, a it's gonna take me a minute to find a question, so we'll play Infection in just a second. But what uh what movie or TV show? If somehow you guys could agree. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you get to pick. You will not get stumped. Hmm. Oh, I'm no. a big horror movie fan. Do you want me to give you just a second to talk about it and we'll jam infection? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching, please support them. Go on Spotify, hit the follow button like I have, and let's jam some infection. All right. Let's check in. What what did we come up with as a conclusion? Today we learned that we don't, don't watch the, the same, same things. things. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> and that I suck at watching movies. <laughs> All right, how about this? How about you each pick a movie, and I'll just grab one of them, and then you guys just got to help out. Go ahead first. Uh, Halloween. Okay. Which which one? Uh, 1978. There you go. <laughs> okay. I'm a big, huge fan. I know, he's, he's right outside of the door. He scared the crap yes. out of me on the way in. Halloween 1978. <laughs> what? Oh, me? Yes, you. Um, <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. I'm wearing him right now. <laughs> you? Pro probably that one. No, are you serious? No, pick your own. Pick your own movie. <laughs> I suck at watching movies, guys. 
I can do I can do one nightmare and one one Halloween one. All right. There you go. Okay. Dig that. So, so JB, go ahead and uh, shoot off another question if you could. Give me a second to look up some trivia. Yeah, definitely. So when it comes to your guys' uh, plans for music and such, uh, what is your plans for 2023? Mm. So for 2023, um, we have the release of Serenade, uh, our upcoming single that's coming out May 5th. Um, we are currently writing some new music, uh, and we're kind of revamping, you know, our popular songs from 10 years ago, you know, mm-hmm. giving them like breathing new life into them to, to how we've grown as musicians in general. You know, we don't sound the same as we did 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. So we do plan on recording, you know, a couple new ones and a couple, couple old ones. Uh, and then we have some pretty big plans for some shows coming up. Yes, definitely. What's funny is that actually infection doesn't sound exactly the same as it did 10 no, years ago. No. It, it has sounds a completely, like a completely new completely sound. Different song. Is that, like is that something you, that like the producer did to kind of like arrange it differently or? No, actually, that was our drummer and, <laughs> and you. It, it was the drummer and, and, and me is how the song changed up a lot. And then going with the new stuff that people can expect. Uh, with old Agent Nova songs that are 10 years old and the new songs that we've been writing, um, this is stuff that people should have heard years ago. They should have been they done 10 have, years ago. But... It, it would have been something, but I'm glad that we can put it out uh, Better late than never, when bro. we can uh, yeah. this coming year. And I'm mm-hmm. excited for everyone to check it Looking out. Forward They're going to be blown away. <laughs> now, that's not to say that we don't have a great producer that kind of you know, has figured out our sound and, Mm -hmm. you know, has helped us out, you know, sometimes like in the studio, like we would play something, we're like, this is super cool. And he's like, no, maybe not that. Let's try that again. (laughs) You know, let's, let's change it up a little bit. So we like the, uh, he's honest. We like that. (laughs) The the creative ideas, the honesty that we have in the studio and then out of the studio to like either texting or if we're all together and we discuss things, Mm -hmm. what goes into our tone, what does, what does Age Nova sound like? What is it going to sound like for the future? than it was 10 years ago mm-hmm. in this big comeback you know it's awesome. his infection <laughs> how it came out this was new this is new this to is, everybody this is a revamp so we have <laughs> revamps so it's like the future of it we have to make it right are you oh no don't we, pass me a spoon. we get spoons <laughs> we get spoons <laughs> let me see if i can stump if I, if I can stump you i think this one is kind of an easy one but let's see what we got here <laughs> what was the name there's a kind of an odd delay going on what was the name of the boogie boys boogie boys oh oh i need all repeat it one more time lock shock and barrel give me a hell yeah (laughs) that is correct Oh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. <laughs> I'm looking around. It's exactly what you think it is. A1 steak sauce, fruity pebbles bar combo. All right. After some ghost pepper hot sauce. Whew! It's hot. So I'm I imagine so I imagine when you play when you play your sets uh, live, you have a lot of songs in your in your repertoire. And you said you have a new single coming out soon, but essentially if money wasn't a factor, you could probably go in and, and to the studio and knock out five or six songs. Is there plans to release a full length EP at some point or just go the single there, route? There is. There, there is. is plans for an EP. We have talked about it for a long time now. Mm-hmm. So I think what the plan is, is we do want to release out some singles, but we kind of want to put together, (laughs) you know, a list of of our older songs and everything that we're revamping and kind of put them into like an EP. Mm -hmm. Uh, That way we're moving forward with mainly making new music. Yeah, exactly. Hell new yeah. for old and new fans. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so how how things are working right now is uh, I've been writing and contributing with Shane uh, for several several new songs, and yeah. then Shane, uh, what they show me because uh, I joined last year, mm-hmm. they kind of like show me what the old stuff was, and it's like okay, and we fix them, you know, like Frankenstein it away <laughs> yeah. with the new me and Doug, um, and so. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. So we want to 
put out that EP for those old fans and new fans that never heard it before, mm -hmm. and then move on with the forward with the new songs. You know? Yeah. So that's our that's our big that's our plan, plan this year. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I do have the Halloween trivia queued up, but before I ask it, I unfortunately have to eat oh, a piece no, of this Fruity I'm Pebbles so bar in, in with A1 on it. It's not going to be fun. Uh, ugh. Let's I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, I couldn't stump you. All right, it's doused in it. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, I can, yeah. There we go. Get her, buddy. Get her. Ooh. Oh, man. It's like, a, it's, it's like a... He's got it. Terrible piece of steak. Ew. <laughs> it, it reminds me of steak because it's all the A1. If hypothetically, oh, ask a lot of people this. Um, is, if hypothetically a label came along and gave you guys each like $10 million each as a signing bonus, each, do you have enough money to take care of your family, buy all the gear you could ever want, which is like a fun toy that you wanted as a kid, but it was just too crazy oh, expensive. No. And now you can just buy splurge and still have millions left over. Just fun, a fun toy. A toy. A to oh, now we got to think. So, <laughs> a toy could be a car. It could be uh, oh, he, a like, tree house. Like, I don't know. Whatever. What is something that you would buy? Man. Oh no, he's gonna. <laughs> well, I'm a big horror junkie. I would, I would splurge on horror memorabilia. And Mike Myers stuff. stuff. Yeah. Do you go to Do you go to horror cons and get autographs from them? I have been, to, been, to, I have been to cons, science, fi science fiction, horror for the last 14 years. Yep. Hell yeah. And I have. So I'm coming up, and I'm actually meeting John Carpenter this year. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. Very. And uh, my arms, I have uh, Corey Taylor signed my arm, Phil Anselmo signed my arm, Zach Wilde, Steve Harris, and uh, a lot Rob Trujillo from Metallica. Mm -hmm. that is I got cool. them all on my arm because they inspired me, and um, and it was it was very great, you know. <laughs> that's I, really cool. And one musician I met. I, I uh, wish I could have met with Dimebag Daryl, but yeah. I had gotten to meet Vinnie Paul, and I was very uh, fortunate for that experience. And he mm -hmm. gave me the advice that I go by every single day, and uh, that keeps me inspired to make music. I've gone to a bunch of uh, horror cons, too, and I, I get a bunch of autographs as well. But the one autograph I can't seem to get, because each time I go, he's not there. He cancels. Dang it. <laughs> is, to is it? Tobin Bell. Oh. Jig I met him a Jigsaw. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. met him too? Was, no way. Yeah, he, I'm uh, jealous. They, he was in Dallas. He came for a Saul reunion, oh, and uh, and it was amazing. Dang it, I'm jealous. I don't have that one. No, yeah. no. <laughs> in Halloween, who is Sheriff Brackett father to? Uh, Annie. Mother. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. That is correct. It. Mac, I'll ask your question in a second. All right, this one's way easier. This one's way easier. I just had to take a shot of sake. It's uh, not nearly as as nasty. Uh, someone in, in Mac in chat wants to know how was being an LBS supporter helped you as a band? Are you guys satisfied with being an LBS supporter? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're pretty satisfied. Um, you know, being a supporter has kind of helped out with, you know, meeting a ton of other bands, you know, and kind of, we've gotten some feedback from bands, like a, a lot of other bands that support you guys. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they've listened to our song and they've kind of told us, you know, both positive and, and you know, negative, yeah. constructive of, Hey, you know, what if you would have thought of this whenever you recorded this or whatever an infection, you know, and, 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 you know, it, it's kind of helped us see where we are at as musicians and how we can continue to grow and, you know, meeting a bunch of other great artists and hearing what they have put out, you know? Um, so, and, and you guys do a lot of like supporting yeah. for other bands. So it's, it's pretty phenomenal. So getting, getting to be able to be on that same page with other artists, I, I think it's just been super beneficial for us as artists in general. Well, we really fun. appreciate your support and we're happy to do it. You guys are kick ass. I mean, it's, it's, it makes our job easier when, when yeah. the band is badass. <laughs> did you, I, I misheard earlier cause I was looking up a question. Did you give a release date for the next single that's already recorded? Yeah. Yeah. May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. May 5th. Everybody May 5th. 
cool. Yep. Not, not too far we away. Figured, you know, the song comes out, we all drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> party time. So it's party time, May 5th. That's easy to remember right there. Hell yeah. We've got time. Yeah. We, I, I can't believe I wasn't able to stump you. If, you. if you're so inclined, you just feel like it, go ahead and enjoy the, the hot sauce. If not, you totally don't have to because you, you no, didn't. you want to. But but you're more than welcome to try it. Yeah. We, we have time for two more questions. So, uh, right. JB, what would your final question be for Agent Nova? I am so curious because you guys kind of played it off. You said some special performances. Could you elaborate on that? Or are you guys trying to be a little secretive of that? We, we're we trying to keep it hush. We're hush. trying to keep it hush. Because we have a lot uh, in store. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a, it's a lot of, I wouldn't say pressure or stress. <laughs> But uh, we're we're just very amped and excited for everyone to see us and see this Age of Nova that people have been listening to but have not seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. The the comeback. The you comeback know, is call coming. it a comeback tour. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it, it's gonna be great, and I hope you can come yourself. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be amazing. Are you guys planning to amazing. get over to California at some point? Shoot, that I, love, is, I love the food. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. That is, I can say that there there are a couple of states that uh, I've been been in contact with some promoters on. So, you know, as long as everyone, uh, we're, we're pretty organized, weirdly enough, for a band. We have a, <laughs> That's good. That's good. A, a, a calendar, we have a calendar that we're, we all. We're really close with the, with the guy that does the bookings at the Whiskey A Go Go. If that could be of any help, then just reach out and I'll I'll do what I can to help you guys connect hey, on that. I'll tell you today, like I told Shane, that um, the the Harley the Horny, Horny Toad uh, Company, yeah, uh, they host uh, big music events, and uh, I was given a contact today for Agent Nova to <laughs> perform for nope. them, and so that was cool too. Awesome! I was like, Heck yeah! I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I was like, make sure y'all have a bike ready for me, <laughs> right? <laughs> That was pretty cool. If, and then, uh, like, South by Southwest or yeah. uh, the, what was, what, it was the what, was it, what was the other one? Oh, the So What Festival. So What Festival. What? And uh, we have a local uh, Comic-Con in our hometown that was interested in us as well. There's, mm-hmm. there's just a lot, but we don't, we don't. <laughs> We don't want to talk about it. We, want we don't to, want to say everything we want to because say we want everything. It, some of it's not confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah. yeah. We want to make some, sure that it's it's yeah. locked in first before we announce anything. Definitely. I, I, you don't want to announce it and then it's not confirmed because then people will be exactly. like, exactly, like yeah. hype people up for no reason. It's yeah. like when people when people uh, revealed their gender of the baby and they <laughs> they actually do it early. It's like, oh come on. <laughs> it's not a girl. Oh and it's not no. A girl. <laughs> Yeah, but that that is uh, that's the answer. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm We're sorry. actually having triplets. No, thanks for letting me pre- press you guys. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my final question would be if if somebody has never been to your to see you live, sell me right now on what we could expect and why we should attend and support your show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I am I am when people pay. That many times I've been playing shows and stuff, and when they came and seen me, I'll give them a show because that's what people, that's uh, people want. paid for. I jump off drum kits. He does. I, <laughs> I go, crazy. I jump. Anywhere that's high, I will climb and I will jump. I love giving that energy to the audience, and they can expect a damn good show when mm-hmm. they show up for Agent Nova. You can expect and then a show all from of this us, one? All of us have collective, collective this guy effort. right here? And uh, Doug is a monster on drums. He is. You can watch him and be like. Literally, so, I had someone listen to just the drums on it and in fact, yeah, and I yeah. went, what? Who's this guy? Yeah, so, he's, <laughs> he's like a machine. And But me and Doug, we have our moments together to where it's like, you, uh, yeah, you're just looking at both of us. <laughs> but no, it, it, it'll be fun. Everybody can jump around. But most importantly, everybody has uh, a good can time. stay good time, stay safe. And uh, and here's something that they've, they've never, never seen heard. before. Mm-hmm. I love it. You know, make them want to come back. The time of your life, High energy <laughs> shows <laughs> are the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we unfortunately are out of time, but if it's okay with you, I'll put this on YouTube later tonight, so more people are yeah. still able to see it that maybe weren't able to attend. I'll shoot you the Can link and everything. Oh, yeah, no. of course, of course. Okay, I want to give a shout out to uh, the band that inspired me to this day. It is the rare occasions, Luke, Jeremy, and Brian. Love you guys. 
<laughs> Shout out to the rare occasions. Hell yeah. If you're watching, Thank please you. support Agent Nova any way possible, but you can start by going on Spotify, hit the follow button, make sure you're already ready for when the next single comes out on Cinco de Mayo. Agent Nova! Give me a hell yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Have an awesome day. I'm pissed I couldn't stump you in trivia, though. But for real, you guys are awesome. Have a great day. Thank you.